Alright guys, we made the Scriven Motor Speedway for the 2024 Winter Freeze. I'm super excited about it. There is a ton of cars here. I mean, we're here on a Thursday night and it literally looks like it's a full-fledged race night. So, getting ready to head out for the first practice. I'm excited. Curious to see what Stage Fright's going to do with all the changes we made, but I'm ready for it. Yeah, a lot of work's gone into this thing. See how she does. Hey, huge shout out to Brandon and my dad. I mean, they've been busting ass on this car to get ready. and. You know, we worked late last night, we worked late all week long, and we got it here, so. didn't go very good but at least we figured out some issues now instead of tomorrow it's looking like we push a axle seal out because it's just pouring transmission fluid all over the skid plate and stuff like that so we're gonna end up taking it home trying to get it fixed other than that we just got a couple little issues to, to work out like a little bit of a handling issue it's pushing pretty bad on entry just wanted to shove the nose we're gonna try a couple things with that I was hoping to get to test them but we just can't with how bad the transmissions leaking right now <laughs> All right, well, we got stage fright all fixed up and loaded. Shout out to my dad, Mike, Rob, Brandon. Uh, those guys, you know, they busted ass all night last night. We had a lot of changes to make and a lot of things to fix. Now everything's good to go and hoping the car's a little better today because we had a lot of issues last night, but I think we worked through them. First round of qualifying tonight, we have heat races and then tomorrow will be B mains and the main event. Either way, we should have a provisional being third in points. They are taking the top six from qualifying. We're hoping to hit one of those and have a spot right directly into the main starting up front. It'll be a lot better than uh, starting in the back like we did last year. Y'all ready? Oh yeah, yeah. Go. Go top six. Top six and $20,000. But first, we're gonna go eat some tacos. Track is still looking super muddy. Hoping it dries out a little bit for qualifying. Car definitely doesn't like a wet track like this. Reed's about to head out here shortly. Looks like the track's getting ran down a little more. Not sure where they're gonna really be at. Hopefully running up top does Reed good and we'll see how he does.
officially eight out of 101 cars. You know, obviously, really proud of that. My team busted ass this weekend to get me there because without them, I wouldn't be there. I do wish we could have locked in on time instead of having to run a heat race. Starting first in the second heat race, and I'm hoping to bring it home because then we'll be eighth on the grid. So that's a really good starting spot for the big race. And I'm feeling good about the car. We just got to make a little more change to, to help it on entry because it is shoving the nose pretty bad still. But overall, a whole lot better than it has been. So looking forward to it. We'll see how we do in this heat race. And fingers crossed, bring it home in one piece. Looks like you're about to fall asleep. Need me energy drink, brother. It's chilly. It's cold. I'm tired. My back hurts. Bad day. I'm not freezing. It's all torn up. <laughs> Everybody. Reed's about to roll out for his heat race. We'll see how he does. We'll tap in whenever we get back.
been pretty rough on us so far. After assessing the damage from last night, we had to put a wheel bearing in it, we had to do a ball joint, and uh, had to piece together an axle. I'm not feeling super great about that, but it's the best we could come up with on such a short notice. I'm definitely gonna have to do something in the future about having some spare stuff, just kind of light on it with just now switching over to K-Series but it's been a scramble. I'm gonna have to run one of the B mains. I mean, I have the option of taking a provisional, but we need to make sure the car is gonna work. So we don't want the axle to come out a couple laps in the feature and completely ruin our chances. And this kind of gives us a shot to get something together if our fix doesn't work. Whenever I figure out where I'm gonna be starting the B main, I'll let you guys know. If everything's going good, we will try to race our way in to improve our starting position a little bit because I'm gonna need all the help I can get. If I gotta start all the way at the tail, it's gonna be pretty rough, and that's what we had to do last year. I'd rather not do it again this year if we don't have to. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to roll out for the B-Main. Uh, I'm rolling off fifth in the second B-Main. Like I said earlier, we do have the provisional to bounce back onto if we need it, but I'm gonna try to improve a couple spots and make sure the car's all right. Got everything back together, it all looked good, so we're gonna give it a shot and see what we can do with it. plenty of it by ourselves. Just getting this axle finished up. Kept having a problem with that other uh, transmission where it was blocking axles out. Not really sure what's causing it. So we're gonna have to pull apart and check it out. But uh, that was a brand new transmission. Just put, you know, all brand new synchros in it and everything. Welded the diff. So I don't know if it's something I did or something, you know, like a bearing. But we're gonna pull it apart and see. Hopefully this fixes our issue because we've been working on this thing nonstop all week.
Uh, the car is really good on the bottom, but not so much on the top. Uh, I went to the top a couple times and it was not working out for me. Every time I went to the bottom, it seemed like we were making up some ground and eventually towards the end of the race, I just stuck there. But, you know, overall, coming from very last to sixth, I'm really happy with that. I mean, especially after changing the transmission and fighting the car all weekend. I mean, we broke Thursday, we broke Friday, we broke Saturday, got it fixed and still went out there. Shout out to Jason, my dad, Colin. Uh, I wish Brandon could have been here tonight, but he wasn't able to make it. All in all, it was a great weekend. Those guys busted ass and we, uh, we got it done. So we have a good start in 2024. Let's see what we can do with the year. Kind of had to get aggressive on the bottom there at the end. I wasn't trying to take any cheap shots or anything. Some of this damage on the door was from the heat race whenever I hit the berm, but got some new tire marks and stuff like that for sure. But it's kind of a product of racing on the bottom like that. It seems like whenever a track's just right around the bottom, I mean, you gotta wait for mistakes to happen. You're getting hit from behind. You're running in the car in front of you because they're stacking up. But, I mean, all in all, it was a pretty fun race. Uh, I'm just worn out. I'm ready for a nice, long nap and uh, you know, ready to take a break for a day or two. You know, my wife's been holding it down at the house for, I don't know, the last couple weeks now while we got this thing ready. Shout out to my parents too. My mom's been helping out the kids and helping out around the house and stuff like that. Shout out to my dad. He's been out here in the shop with me every single night. But thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video to your friends.